Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 13, Division of 3 to 4 Digit Numbers by 10, 100, and 1000 with or without remainder. Objective, after going through this lesson, you are expected to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 10, 100, or 1000 with and without remainder. On our previous lesson, we have learned the long method of dividing numbers. The steps are compare, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Let's try to divide 600 divided by 10. So 600 would be our dividend and 10 is our divisor. And we have to find for the quotient. As you can see, the divisor 10 is a two-digit. So compare the divisor to the first two numbers at the left of the dividend. So 60 is greater than 10. If the first two digit in the dividend is bigger than the divisor, divide the partial dividend, which is 60, by the divisor 10. So the exact product in the table of 10 is 60. So the answer is... 6, so we will write the quotient 6 above 0. Then, multiply 6 by the divisor 10. As we know, 6 times 10 is equals to 60. So, we write 60 below 60 and then subtract. 60 minus 60 is equals to 0. And then, bring down the next digit which is 0. After we bring down the digit, we repeat the steps from 1 to 5 until there are no more digits to bring down. Divide the partial dividend, which is 0, by the divisor 10. The answer is 0. We will write the quotient 0 above and then multiply 0 times 10 is 0 and then we write 0 below. 0 minus 0 is equals to 0. This method will take you a while before you get the answer. But there is a short method where you can just solve the problem as fast as 3 seconds. Let's try 600 divided by 10. So step 1 is count the number of zero in the divisor. So 10 has one zero. Cancel zeros in the dividend and divisor. Since we have one zero in the divisor, we will also cancel one zero in the dividend. Then for the last step, divide the remaining numbers. So 60 divided by 1 is 60. Therefore, 600 divided by 10 is 60. Next, we have 9,500 divided by 100. So, step 1, count the number of zeros in the divisor. So, 100 has two zeros. And for step 2, cancel zeros in the dividend and in the divisor. Since we have two zeros in the divisor, we will also cancel two zeros in the dividend. And then for step 3, divide the remaining numbers. So, 95 divided by 1 is equals to 95. So, therefore, 9,500 divided by 100 is 95. Let's have another example. We have 85,000 divided by 1,000. Step 1, count the number of zeros in the divisor. So, we have 1,000 and it has three zeros. Step 2, cancel zeros in the dividend and the divisor. Since we have three zeros in the divisor, we will also cancel three zeros in the dividend. Then, divide the remaining numbers. So, 85 divided by 1 is equals to 85. 
Therefore, 85,000 divided by 1,000 is 85. But how about if we have 403 divided by 10? As you can see, the dividend doesn't end with 0. 0 in 403 is in 10's place, while 0 in 10 is in 1's place. Remember that we cannot cancel zero in different place value. If the dividend does not end with zero, do not cancel the digit. The total numbers of zeros in the divisor will determine how many digits will be the remainder. In this example, the divisor is 10 and it has one zero. Therefore, we will get the last digit in the dividend as our remainder. So, 403 divided by 10 is equals to 40 remainder 3. Let's have another example. We have 40,353 divided by 10. The divisor 10 has one zero, therefore we will get the last digit of 40,353 as our remainder. So the answer would be 4,035 remainder 3. Next is 40,353 divided by 100. As we can see, there are two zeros in 100. So, this means that we will get the last two digits of 40,353 as our remainder. So, the answer would become 403 remainder 53. Next, we have 40,353 divided by 1,000. We all know that 1,000 has three zeros. So, this means that the last three digits of 40,353 will serve as our remainder. So, the answer would become 40 remainder 353. Let's take a look at this example. We have 995 divided by 10. 10 has one zero. So, the last digit of 995 will serve as our remainder. So, the answer would become 99 remainder 5. Next is 56,359 divided by 100. 100 has two zeros. Therefore, the last two digit of 56,359 will serve as our remainder. So, the answer would become 563 remainder 59. Lastly, we have 80,973 divided by 1,000. 1,000 has three zero. So, the last three digit of 80,973 is the remainder. So, the answer would become 80 remainder 973. Now, it's your time to solve. To check your mastery in 5 minutes, find the quotient of the given number as fast as you can. Your timer starts now.
time's up. Let's check your work. Number 1. 4,000 divided by 10 is equals to 400. 5,000 divided by 100 is equals to 50. Number 3. 4,100 divided by 10 is 410. 4. 6,500 divided by 100 is 65. Number 5, 7,800 divided by 100 is 78. Number 6, 24,000 divided by 1,000 is equals to 24. Number 7, 5,386 divided by 1,000 is 5, remainder 386. Number 8, 8,234 divided by 10 is equals to 823, remainder 4. Number 9, 9,973 divided by 100 is equals to 99, remainder 73. And number 10, 703 divided by 10 is equals to 70, remainder 3. Did you get a perfect score? Good job! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Until our next lesson, bye-bye!